Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and I wanted to show you something I've been experimenting with along with some friends of mine around the idea of using a mobile device as a desktop computer. So what I have here is a Galaxy uh, Nexus. Uh, it's running Android uh, 4.02. Um, it's a stock, uh, stock device, stock Android phone. Um, it's not rooted, it's not hacked in any way. I have a uh, micro USB um, MHL HDMI cable here connecting it to my display. And I have power going into the side here so that uh, it doesn't kill my phone's battery as I'm using it. I have a, uh, a Magic Trackpad, I believe it's called. It's an Apple Bluetooth uh, multi-touch trackpad, and I have a Bluetooth keyboard. They both connect very nicely to the phone. You can also use a mouse. Um, I decided to use a trackpad because I thought that would sort of capture the experience of, of uh, using the phone a little bit better. Uh, but you can use a mouse, you can use a USB keyboard, um, you can use um, any, uh, any number of um, peripherals or devices to, uh, to use your phone like this. Um, but uh, this is sort of what I had lying around and what I thought would make a, um, uh, make a good experiment. So this is my, uh, my Galaxy Nexus uh, home screen here, and I can use the gestures that I'm accustomed to using even on my Mac to swipe back and forth. So you can see I'm doing two fingers swiping here, and I'm going to my different home screens. Uh, this is a widget here, and I can scroll up and down through the widget, and then I can scroll to the side here. Um, I can do things like uh, I can tap and hold to drag, just like you're accustomed to on various devices. Uh, if I'm in a region like this and I do tap and hold, then it's going to actually scroll the, the whole screen, so that's nice and fluid. I can bring down my, uh, my notification shade here. That works nicely. Uh, I can do things like open up folders and then use escape to dismiss them. So this all works uh, really, really nice. Um, it's very intuitive, very fluid. Um, having a keyboard hooked up to your phone, um, just having a keyboard hooked up is a big win um, for things like texting or for typing you know, long emails or whatever. So I'm going to open up this uh, note application and uh, do a little typing. So this is what it's like to type using a keyboard on a mobile phone. And I'll do something like I'll misspell phone here uh, so that the spell checker um, picks it up, draws a red line under it, I uh, tap on it, and choose phone. So pretty standard experience. I mean, this is sort of what you'd expect on a desktop. Works really well. I can type as fast as I want. Everything keeps up. Um, I can do things like um, I can do control and move back and forth through the sentence like this. If I hold down shift, I can select, and I can even use uh, control A to select all. So pretty much what you'd expect uh, from a desktop experience works really nicely. I'll go back to the home screen here. Something else I discovered is if you hold down command and you double tap on tab, you get this application switching uh, interface here, which is really nice. Um, also something uh, similar to what you expect to see on a Mac or a Windows machine. So this makes it really nice and convenient to switch back and forth between applications. Um, I'm not going to show you an email. Um, I, I should say that I'm, I'm going to be very careful about the kinds of applications I demo. I'm only going to show a few things. Um, the reason being that mobile phones obviously have a lot of very private information on them, and so I need to be careful. Uh, what I show you. So um, I will go ahead and go over to the uh, to the browser, and we'll take a look at this. This is Google.com, and uh, you can see that uh, you know I can scroll up and down as you'd expect uh, using gestures, and I'll go to uh, Reddit, and uh, you can see I have a good experience here. I can uh, scroll up and down, and you know it's it looks pretty much like it would look on the desktop. Um, I'm not going to click on anything. Um, I don't want to take a chance on pulling up something that might not be safe for work. Um, but you can see I can also do things like pinch and zoom um, in order to increase my font size and stuff like that. So um, it all works pretty well. Uh, if I want to do something like listen to music, um, I have uh, Google Music going here. So I'll move over to Google Music and I'll bring up um, something like this. And I have it connected uh, to external speakers with an audio cable, so you can see I get pretty good sound. And since I can get full multitasking here, um, I'll switch over to uh, you know, something like uh, Google Currents. So while I'm listening to music, I can read some news, and I'll just browse some photos at 500 PX. So you can see this works nicely. up to the main menu here, 
here. And then something like this. Or I'll pause the music and dismiss my notifications. Um, so I've only shown a few things here. I haven't gone into a lot of depth, um, but you can imagine, um, you know, the email application works really well. Gmail works great. Um, I've sent a few emails. Um, I've opened Google Talk. I've chatted, you know, a little bit. Um, you know, you can use the uh, this task uh, switching interface um, in order to move back and forth between applications really nicely. Um, again, I, you know, I'm not giving a full demonstration here um, simply because um, I have to be careful about what I open. So, for instance, um, I'm not going to give a demonstration of Google Wallet or something like that. But uh, it's very functional, surprisingly functional. Um, and this, I don't feel like this is a use case that, um, you know, is really sort of um, widely uh, supported, yet it works really well. So if you think about if Google or Apple or Microsoft uh, really try to support these kinds of use cases, um, how good the experience would be. So the question in my mind is, um, what's the next step in computing or what's the future of computing? Um, are we going to keep moving in the direction we're moving in now where we have um, most, uh, most of our data in the cloud that we can access from any number of computers, like I have now, you know, I have computers upstairs, I have computers at the office, I have computers all around the house, all my data is in the cloud so I can sit down at any one of those machines and I can be productive um, very quickly. Um, and that model is working very well for me right now. That's the model that we're sort of moving to now with a lot of the cloud services. Um, another interesting model, though, is one uh, in which your computer is just in your pocket all the time. Um, so you go to the office and you sit down and you, you, know, you dock your phone and you have a full you know, keyboard and mouse or whatever else you need, a, a printer, and all your peripherals. Um, uh, so, you know, and you can you know, work as you, as you do very much today. Uh, and then undock it, go home and do the same thing. Um, I think that we're not quite there yet with the hardware. Um, I can get pretty far here, and I'm pretty happy with this experience. I mean, I think this is a this is a surprisingly good experience. I'm surprised at how much I've been able to do. Um, I think we're maybe a generation or two away from this um, really being a great experience, something that you'd not just do to see if you could do it, not just experiment with, but actually like doing, um, actually enjoy the experience. Uh, in order to get there, uh, I think that we need you know slightly faster processor maybe, although this, this has been pretty good. Um, capacity is not an issue because all your data is in the cloud. You can see when I go, um, when I go over to, uh, to Google Music um, here, you can see I have, I have access to, um, you know, let me uh, move over here. Um, I have access to, you know, gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs, of course, of music. This, this music's not here. This music's, you know, going to all stream. Uh, this is just recent stuff. So lots and lots of, um, of music here. So capacity is not going to be an issue. Your data can still live in the cloud. Uh, so, you know, put a couple of more cores in these phones, which is inevitable. Um, put a little bit more RAM in there. And the, the important thing is, will these operating systems actually go in the direction of supporting this kind of, of, um, of computing? And, and if they do, um, I think it's completely doable. Uh, I'm surprised at how far I've been able to get with this, um, with just components I had lying around, um, a couple of cables. I paid maybe $20 for these cables, and, uh, and I have a pretty good experience here. Um, so anyways, uh, if this is something you're interested in, I'd, be, uh, I'd love to hear you know, your thoughts. I'd love to know if you think this is the right model for computing. If not, what is the right model? Um, have you tried this yourself? Uh, what's your experience? Um, so let me know what you think. Thanks.